Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. If you would like to be inspired to make a three-piece set like this, then please keep watching. Okay, so for today's DIY, I'm going to be using three 10 by 20 inch canvases. My paint, I'm going to use just a Craftsmart white for my base coat before I put on my main color, which is Rich Espresso Deco Art. It's metallic. My bling, this is Roaring Twenties. It's a spinet brand. I get it from Michaels. I just have it in a little shaker bottle and I have it in a little bowl here so you can get a better look at it. Isn't that pretty? And then I have Extra Fine Silver Recollections. I have my Gold Crushed Filler Glass, Ashland brand from Michaels. It just comes in these little jugs. I have my rhinestone ribbon wrap. I love this. This is so sparkly. I get it from Amazon. I will leave a link in my description box below. I have some gloss Mod Podge, some clear Elmer's glue, some tacky glue, and some brushes. I will leave a complete list of everything that I end up using today in my description box below, and I will point it out as I'm using it. So yeah, you guys, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is put a base coat on all three of my canvases. And I'm just using a Craftsmart white satin acrylic. It doesn't really matter what white you use as a base coat. I'm finding lately, and I mentioned this in my last video, I like to put a base coat on the canvases before I put the initial paint color on, even though they are gessoed already. Okay, and now I'm going to let that completely dry. Okay, the base coat of white is dry on my canvas and now I'm going to put on my rich espresso. Okay, I'm going to let the first coat completely dry, put on a second one, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so the paint is all dry on my canvas, and I ended up putting three coats on just to get complete coverage. Two coats just wasn't quite enough, and I just love this rich espresso. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful color. And now I'm going to add my rhinestone ribbon wrap. And I'm going to put this all the way around all three canvases. I think that's going to look so, so pretty. Okay, and I just want to come in a little bit from my rounded edge here because I want the paint um, to be seen on the sides and then a little bit on the front.
step is really easy to work with, very easy to cut. Okay, and I have my tacky glue to adhere my ribbon wrap here. This piece would also look really, really pretty with the um, mini mirror tiles. And I just have a small little craft brush here. My main thing is I want to make sure that I get to the edges of my wrap so that when I adhere it onto my canvas, it doesn't peel up on the edges. Okay, and then just press it down. And I think what I'm going to do is do the sides first. See, that is so pretty. I love silver with brown colors, like with earth tone colors. Okay, so I'm going to finish my other two canvases with my bling wrap and then I will bring you back. Okay, my canvases are all framed out and I'm absolutely loving the look of this. And I'm going to show you some of the, there's like seams right here. And I'm going to fix those up later on in the video. So the next step that I want to do is work on my two outer canvases. My center canvas is going to have the crushed glass on it, but my two outer ones are going to have just the glitter. Okay, I have my Mod Podge gloss. Just stirring it up here and hopefully that'll eliminate some of the clumps if any. I'm going to push the Mod Podge up to the, right up to the bling wrap. Now I do want to make sure that the Mod Podge has a nice even layer on my canvas. Just going to push some of this away from my bling wrap. Got a little thick there. Okay, and then I'm going to take my Roaring Twenties. I just have it in a little shaker bottle here.
Now I don't want to overload it with my glitter. I want to make sure that my paint pokes through. This would also look beautiful in just a silver chunky glitter. Okay, and then I'm going to take my extra fine silver. Just give it a very light dusting. That looks like a nice even coat. Okay, that looks about the same as this one. And then my silver again. This one seems to have more of the Roaring Twenties on it. So I'm just going to add a little bit more to this one. Okay, that looks pretty balanced with the amount of glitter that I have on both of these canvases. Okay, so I've changed my mind slightly with my design now that I see the glitter on the two outer canvases, which I, oh, it's going to be so, so beautiful. And I just have to wait for the Mod Podge to dry. Um, I was just going to add the crushed glass and glitter in the center of my canvas, but I think it needs a little bit more in the middle. Otherwise, it's... It's not going to look balanced. It's going to look too heavy on the two outer canvases. So I'm just going to add a layer of Mod Podge on my center canvas as well. Now I'm not going to be adding glitter on this whole canvas like I did on the outer canvases but I want to make sure that the finish is going to be the same on the whole canvas, so I have to put the Mod Podge on the whole thing, if that makes sense. Okay, now I'm going to take my Roaring Twenties again. And I'm just going to add some on the bottom corner here kind of taper it off a little bit higher here because i am going to come in and do my icicles little bit on the sides here. I just want it to flow when I hang it on the wall and that's why I'm adding some glitter, extra glitter on the middle canvas here. Okay, and I'm going to take some silver as well. Okay, the Mod Podge is almost dry, and now what I want to do is just 
press down ever so slightly so that my glitter gets a really good adhesion to that Mod Podge. I didn't want to do it when I first applied it because it'll just squish out because I'm not going to put anything over top of this beautiful glitter, any kind of a seal or anything like that, because it, it just takes away from it, in my opinion. Okay, so the Mod Podge is all dry on my canvases and they are looking beautiful. And the next thing that I want to do is vacuum them off. I just have the soft brush on my vacuum cleaner. And that's how I clean these all the time. This is the way I brush my uh, pieces off because you can't wipe them, right? So now the next thing that I want to do, I want to clean up these little spaces here on my bling wrap. So I'm just going to take my Elmer's clear glue and I'm just going to add a little bit there on the seam. And then I'm going to take my extra fine silver recollections. And now I'm going to work on my center canvas. So now I'm just going to kind of make a design for myself. I'm going to go across my canvas with my Elmer's glue. I'm going to go up, I'm going to come down, I'm going to go in between, and I'm just going to come into the center here, wiggle it around. And then I'm going to take my craft brush and I'm going to move it into some peaks. Move it around a little bit on the um, inside here, the center part. Now I'm going to take my gold crushed filler glass, Ashland brand from Michaels. I'm going to take out some of these bigger pieces. Okay, and my Roaring Twenties. And 
and my extra fine silver recollections and I will cover the rest of the Elmer's glue that is exposed. Okay, I'm going to let that dry overnight and then I'll bring you back and we'll brush it off. Okay, so this has been drying overnight and now it's time to brush it off. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. I cannot get over how sparkly this is. This is so, so sparkly. Bring in nice and close here. I love that Roaring Twenties glitter. And then just adding a little bit of the silver glitter onto those seams that really closed up the little bit of a gap. The one thing I think I would do differently is when I added the Roaring Twenties glitter on my center canvas before I added the crushed glass in the center there, I added silver glitter and I think, hindsight, <laughs> uh, I should have just used the Roaring Twenties glitter. But that's okay. I think I'm gonna do something like this again in a different color. And like I said earlier, this would look really pretty with the mini mirror tiles around the canvases as well instead of the bling wrap. But this bling wrap is just absolutely gorgeous. It is so sparkly. And I don't think the video does it justice. It's just, it's gorgeous stuff. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. It feeds the algorithm and it lets me know that you like this type of video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all my future videos. And as always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch and God bless.